Go to Auntie Karen. Go to Auntie Karen. Go. Making you look good is in our heritage. It's emblazoned right across the website of Stubbs Hair Studio. And on today's origin episode of YYE, You're Young in Eglinton, you're gonna hear from Jermaine Cowan, who's the owner of the barbershop, about how he got into the hair industry, how he started the barbershop, and how it's evolved over time. Welcome back to YYE. Thanks for having me again. Happy to. Um, this is the, the origin story. So I always like to hear kind of how things started for you. You mentioned in the previous episode uh, that we did together that it started mm. in your living room. Yeah. I'd like to go back just a little bit further. How did you get into the hair industry and all that kind of stuff? So by all means. It's, it started back home in Jamaica. I used to, you know, we, well, so we used to cut here behind the, um, in the backyard on the tree stump and all of these things. Actually, it's true. I've done it, you know what I mean? And then went to my, my cousin's shop and then he asked me, hey, you wanna come here and stuff like that? But, you know, and I'm like, okay, fine. And that's where I started. That's the first bar shop I've ever worked in my life. And after I migrated to Canada and I was just doing it in my garage. And then I said, you know what, this is boring. Until I came to, I started working for a salon down, actually Young and Eglinton. And um, I think that's where it changed the whole trajectory of my thoughts, my attitude about the business. But um, what make the difference is, is um, I remember I gave out 3,000 cards in the court and uh, one client walk in. And um, I think I maybe was a, an angel or something like that. <clears throat> he came and asked me, um, have you, you know, can you cut this type of hair? It was Caucasian. And I said, you know what, no. But if you give me the opportunity, you will love it. He trusted me because I was confident with it and I was honest with him. I went in the back and I went on pray. <laughs> and I came back out. <laughs> no, literally that's what I did. I came back out and it took me, it's supposed to take 45 minutes, it took an hour and a half. At the end of the day, he started laughing. He said that was the best haircut he ever had in his life. And he, I, when he left, I never seen this man ever again in my life. I sat in the chair, asked myself some question. If I couldn't answer them, you wouldn't have met me doing this today. Okay. And the shift of it, and that was the best. It changed. It changed. I was the best, second best conversation I've had in my life, and it shift my whole business business life. Okay, very good. Yeah, great haircut, but maybe he couldn't. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, the 90 minutes, he was like, I needed to be a little bit faster. Yes, time. yes, yes, <laughs> yes. He's like, great haircut, but... Yeah, I would love to see him today, you okay. know what I mean? But he okay. shifted everything. Maybe maybe he'll see it, who knows? Definitely. Okay, so you're, you're good at cutting hair and you kind of, you know, discovered and realized that you're good with clippers and scissors and that kind of stuff. But then to go and open your own shop and run yeah. a business, like that's a totally different skill set, right? So yeah. how did that all kind of come about for you? Here's the thing. Um, <clears throat> I came back to Young, I came back, to, I moved to Young and Lawrence. And I sat down after, you know, we had those conversations and stuff like that. Years after I sat down with a buddy of mine and um, he was saying, why don't you name the business Stubbs? And I'm like, nah, I, I didn't like the name. And I'm like, you know what, for me, I'm always an entrepreneur. I always want to try things and see what works. And actually this business fell in my lap because I was, um, I came off the road musically and I wanted something different to see what happened. And I went music part-time, came into this, and I'm like, you know what? All right, years later, then um, I said, okay, I'm gonna name the business some, but tell me exactly what Stubbs mean. And then when it started, tell me, regrowth. That's what Stubbs mean. The light bulb went up. I, I left, the, I left the, where we were, went upstairs, registered the business right away. And I said, you know what, that's what it is. Then it started evolving from there, from my living room, because I gave my mom the bedroom. I took the living room for the business and I said, I'm just going to work. Yeah, and here we are, came down here. I had to step out by faith too. And the funniest thing, I, in this area, there's so many salons and I went to maybe 90% of them. And they said, they're not hiring me. I said, okay, then I'd be the competitor. And here we are today, very successful business. Um, to the point that we may not have to give out, a, I may not have to give out another card because I think it's not just a haircut for the people, it's family. That's what the stubs is all about, the whole culture. That's what I wanted. 
And I felt that I have it. And the team, everyone just came on board and just, everybody's here just beautiful and I love everybody here. And they work amazing. Doesn't matter which chair you sit in, you're gonna get the same experience. Very good. Good for you. Well, lots of uh, leaps of faith, it sounds like, and, and kind of uh, evolving over time from, you know, like you said, your time in Jamaica uh, on a tree stump uh, all oh, the way yeah. to oh, yeah. having your own chair in your own, your own studio, right? So, good for you. And the funniest thing, the chair in the background, that's where everybody cry, we cry with them, we laugh with them, and, you know, it's just a beautiful thing. Yeah, can't get rid of it. Good for you. No, of course not. No, of course not. Good for you. Well, Jermaine, again, thank you for your time. Uh, very much appreciate you sharing kind of how everything started for you. Yes. Uh, in your origins. And uh, um, happy to have you back on YYU. And I, I thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Blessings.